A Cleveland Blyfields vigil comes after a rash of shooting just five this past week. Hartford police say that they are working on solutions, but the community says enough is enough. We know that day by day, somebody gonna get shot. A sermon calling for change, but looking to inspire hope. Family members of 28-year-old Cleveland Byfield gathering at the scene of his murder on Mabel Avenue and Retreat Avenue to honor his memory. He was a good kid. He was a protector. <laughs> you know, he, he just wanted everybody to get along. He loved his family. He loved his kids. That's all he wanted. He just wanted everybody to be peaceful. You know, he wanted to work and take care of everybody. Byfield died last week after being shot. The motive behind the fatal shooting still unknown. And at this time, no arrests have been made. The family says they are trying their best to stay strong while police investigate. His daughter, his son, his nephews, they're not going to understand. They're too young to understand. So when we get when they get older, we're going to have to go back and explain what happened to him. And that's going to be her when they're going to ask, where's my daddy? Where's my uncle? Byfield's death was the third oh, last week. The violence not ending with this week. The capital city has seen another five shootings. Hartford has seen in total 14 shootings so far this year. This time last year, the city had logged only 13 shootings. According to police, they are looking at solutions to tackle the increased gun violence. There is a model out of that Denver PD has been using that the chief is looking at and looking to, to uh, implement it here. And what it consists of is a, um, a shooting team that would be assigned to major crimes and they would uh, they would all respond to a shooting just as the homicide detectives now all respond to a homicide. Community activists say they are not surprised we are on par from last year's shootings and urge people to take action. This is your community. This is your city. Take your city back. Stop being cowards and get, get to the point and say we had enough. And let's take the Hartford back to what it used to be. But for families that have been affected by the spike in violence, they say they will get through this together. We're going to make sure that everybody stays together and we're going to be one big happy family for him. Now, there is no timeline set for the shooting task force, but Hartford police say that if anyone has any information regarding any of the shootings that we have mentioned in this report and others, to contact them immediately. In Hartford, Brian Ditlake, Fox 61 News.